In this video, we're going to go deep. Uh, I'm going to be sharing with you 12 of my most frustrating things when I swapped over from Premiere Pro to DaVinci Resolve. Now, I've got my list ready for you. Um, it hasn't been an easy journey, but it has been a worthwhile journey moving over to DaVinci Resolve. And all of these frustrations are not necessarily bad things. A lot of these things you can do in DaVinci Resolve, it's just different. So, and these were things that I used quite often and they were things that I had to get used to in order to actually start enjoying uh, DaVinci Resolve. So I don't really swear, but when you hear this sound, then this expresses my deepest frustration when I ran into these different frustrations. Is that okay? So let's jump in. Number one is that you cannot import files by double clicking the media pool. Now what the f When I just tried DaVinci Resolve, you had to actually go to your import window in order to import files. Now at least it allows you to drag files from your finder to the timeline and that, that helps a little bit. The second thing is that DaVinci Resolve for some reason don't really do stacked timelines well. Now, what the f is up with that? I mean, in Premiere Pro, you could see all your timelines and you can go from one timeline to the other and it didn't glitch, it didn't freeze, it didn't buffer, it didn't do anything. It was just so easy. But with the Vinci Resolve, first of all, you can't see all the timelines, so you have to activate it by clicking this icon and then activates the stack timelines. And now that you see all the timelines, when you want to go from one to the other, it lags like crazy. It's like, it's, it's like maybe they'll sort it out. I really do hope that they'll sort it out and I'm sure they will, but this is a big frustration even today. And then auto color correction. Now the Vinci Resolve boasts to have the best color correcting suit in the industry and rightfully so I mean this color grading suit is amazing but the auto color correcting feature sucks it really do I mean sometimes in Premiere Pro I just need to do some tweaks and generally the auto color correction option just sorts out all of those kinks but when I try that with DaVinci Resolve I don't know what it happens but it just messes up everything I, I have no idea why hopefully they'll sort it out now if you want to record or add plugins on your timeline then you have to go to the audio page in DaVinci Resolve. You can't do it from your ed edit window, which you usually were able, where you can do that with Premiere Pro, and that's quite annoying. So um, if you need to record, you need to go to a different page, set up the recording. It's, it's a little bit annoying, and I feel like it wastes a little bit of time. Whereas with Premiere Pro, you could do it in the timeline. Whenever you needed to record, just hit the record button and there you go. The next thing, timeline settings. Now, I think this is probably my biggest frustration and even still today. I don't know how to sort that out. Maybe there's some of you that knows, you can hit me up in the comments. But in Premiere Pro, you can drag a file say with it say it's 50p 4k you can drag it onto the timeline icon and it creates a timeline with that clip settings and for some reason it's impossible in davinci resolve even if i do it it still gives me the wrong settings the what the f it's like it's so frustrating and so i always have to go and double check the timeline settings whether this in fact have the right settings and it never does so what i started doing is i just started creating my own timelines and then just start from there the next thing is adding text also works a little bit differently here you don't have a, a text um, tool where you can just click and type your text in davinci resolve you actually have to go to your effects panel 
and there you have to look for basic text and then drag that onto the timeline and adjust everything in the inspector window which isn't a problem it's just different so I had to find that out the hard way and now I'm okay with that the other thing and this is still something that uh, DaVinci Resolve haven't figured out is that you can't drag folders onto your timeline now what the f is up with that I mean it's such a simple thing yet it's not possible in Premiere Pro I could drag one folder that has all my footage in and it even have subfolders onto my timeline and voila you've got all your footage in DaVinci Resolve I actually have to go into the folder and then from there select the clips all the clips in the folder and then drag that onto the timeline I don't understand why they don't allow me to drag the a folder but it's what it is it's it's what we stuck with and then the next thing is transition so that I'm also still having a little bit of troubles with in Premiere Pro you can actually apply a transition on a clip and then you can click on the transition and shift it around maybe move it more to the left or more to the right uh, depending on what you need but in DaVinci Resolve you have three options either the left the right or center you can't click on the transition and drag it to the left or to the right to make final tweaks you actually just have one of those three options so it's a little bit of a frustration that I'm willing to lay aside I'm willing to make that trade-off in order for a better editing experience next is that my third party plugins doesn't work in DaVinci Resolve now there's some that do work but not all of them and it is a bit of a frustration because I've spent a lot of money on third-party plugins and for them not to work in DaVinci Resolve why 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 but it's fine I'm getting over it I'm almost there um, fortunately DaVinci Resolve does make up with a lot of other cool features the next thing is uh, time remapping now in Premiere Pro you had this time remap tool which was awesome you could just press R click and drag and voila your click your your clip gets extended or it gets shortened by increasing the speed or by making the speed slower if when you drag it up but in DaVinci Resolve you can still do it but it's just different so you have to hit control R and then it gives you like an extra bar that you can drag out or drag in depending on whether you want to make it shorter or longer increase the speed or decrease the speed so that was something that was a little bit different the next thing is the remix tool now I miss this tool quite a bit because I used it quite a lot for background music that has the same repetitive thing going on and it was easy I could literally just if my sound clip was too short my my soundtrack I could just click and drag it out and that would fill the whole uh, section that I needed for we're here unfortunately now I have to do audio editing and it's okay I can do it but f man like where's the re the music remix tool man DaVinci come on man you can do this give it to us you know we all want it and then the last thing is shortcuts um, now I know that DaVinci Resolve say that you know or it gives you the option if you're coming from Premiere Pro to activate the Premiere Pro shortcuts but you know those shortcuts suck and they doesn't work it's not even synced and the same as Premiere Pro I don't know what they were thinking but what the f man like come on I, like if you give us that option at least have it the same as Premiere Pro but I do use custom um, shortcuts so it took me a while to set it up just to kind of figure out the different features in DaVinci Resolve so that I can assign the same buttons to those shortcuts but in general the shortcuts were so different and it was something I had to really get used to and also the different tools and how they work now all in all I am super happy 
to go over to DaVinci Resolve. It's been an amazing journey so far. I'm loving editing on this uh, software and I can't wait for all the new features to come. So Premiere Pro, bye. Uh, it's been good. And uh, I hope that you found this video helpful. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.